Hello everyone, welcome to another video by Coders Daily. In this particular video, we are going to solve another hackerrank.com question known as dynamic array in C. So let's start with understanding the problem statement. Over here, as you can see, this is the complete problem statement written uh, for us, right? So I'll just open my marker and we'll start understanding the problem statement. So over here, it is written that Snow Howler is a is the library and at the central library of the city of Huskyland. He must handle request with some of the following forms. 1 XY, 2 XY and 3 X. So there are three conditions which this librarian snow hauler has to handle. The first is 1 XY which means that he has to insert a book with Y pages at the end of the X itself. Right? Second one is 2 XY. Print the number of pages in the Y book on the X itself. And the third one is print the number of books on the X itself. Snow Hauler has got an assistant Oshi provided by the Department of Education. Although inexperienced, Oshi can handle all the queries of type 2 and 3. Right? So what is written over here in this statement is that there are three queries. 1, 2 and 3. So whenever this code will run, the user input will either contain 1, either contain 2, or either contain 3. So based on 1, 2 and 3, they will again give us 2 input. Right? So let's just say if the input was 1, then it will also give us 2 more inputs known as X and Y. If the input was 2, they will again give us 2 more input known as X and Y. And if the input is 3, they will only give us 1 input that is known as X. Right? So in this way, we'll have to first decide how arguments would be handled inside our code. So this is the input statement. Now coming up to the use case. So the first use case is insert a book with Y pages at the end of the X to self. Right? So first of all, they are telling us that there is a shelf in which we have to one by one insert some books. Right? So over here, the first statement says that if one is selected, we will give you two input. One would be the X, which will be the shelf and Y would be the pages of book. Secondly, 2XY. Print the number of pages in the Y the book on the X shelf, right? So if there is a shelf called X, right? Let's just say this is a shelf called X and there are one, two and three books uh, placed over here. So you have to select the Y the book. So let's just say the input on Y was two, right? So based on zero, one and two, you will select this book and you just print the number of pages on this book. Simple. Third is print the number of books on the X shelf, right? So let's just say again, they have just inputted one argument, which is known as X, right? So now they say that you need to find the number of books. So over here, let's just say this is the X shelf. So over here, three books are placed. So we'll just print three. So this is how the statement works. Now coming up to the input statement. So over here, they are saying us that they will give us first line contains an integer total number of shelves. So what they are giving us, they are giving us total number of shelves. So let's just say this is a complete big almari right and over here they will give us number of shelves so let's just say if the number of shelves is five so we'll have to create five place for placing the book so this is shelf one two three four and five so first of all they'll, they will give us an integer that contains total number of shelves then second line contains an integer total number of queries right so these are queries these are queries 1 2 3 these are queries so they will give us total number of queries total number of inputs total number of prints which we want to do on this particular use case right so let's just say they have given us total number of query as 3 so they will input based on that so they will give us three times 1xy or 3x or 2xy based on that they will give us input that many number of times so this is basically test case this is test case of our question and lastly each of the following total number of query line contains a request in one of the three specified forms so basically this will have this details also right so we have clear what we need to do and then we also uh, are clear with the input format now we need to go towards the problem statement right now over here they have give us a, given us a sample input right so first of all, you can see the first input was total number of shelves. So they have given us five number of shelves. 
and then they are giving us five inputs also so five test cases would be inputted these are total one two three four and five test cases on the first test case they are giving us one zero and fifteen right so one is the first type of test case we want to perform zero is the shelf number so on zero shelf we need to add a book of 15 pages so i'll again create a shelf over here for you right this is the shelf right i'll create five sections in this right now this is zero this is one this is two this is three and this is four so they are saying on zero shelf put a book of 15 pages so i have put a book of 15 pages on the zero shelf secondly again the query type is one zero and 20 now they are again saying that put 20 pages book on zero shelf so i'll again put 20 pages book on zero shelf now they are saying put put again one again one two and 78 now the index of shelf is two and we need to put a book of pages 78 on this now they are saying two two zero two two zero this means that on index two we need to give them we need to give them the book on the zeroth index the number of pages on the zeroth index so the number of pages on zeroth index is 78 so we'll just print 78 then again three zero three zero so on this third and number of books so number of books over here is one and two so we'll print two so as you see over here the output is 78 and 2 which is what we are getting over here so i hope the problem statement is clear now what you need to do to solve this problem statement first of all you need to understand what is dynamic array this is the whole uh, point of this question that you should understand what are dynamic array and see right so there are normal arrays wherein we give a defined number of position inside that array so let's just say if i have created a array of size 5 I can only put the numbers on I, I can only put the values up to five index while on the dynamic array the size of the array is very dynamic you can change on update it or you can increase it or decrease the size of array in later point of time also right so what we have to do is we need to create two dynamic arrays over here one for the number of shelves one we will do for number of shelves two we will do it for number of pages on each book right so we'll create two dynamic array one and two so coming up to the solution part i have already created a solution over here i'll just explain it one by one to you so over here there are two inputs which are already created total number of shelves and total number of queries right so this was the problem statement then i told you that i'll create two dynamic arrays total number of books and total number of pages right so total number of books is this a total number of shelf is this they both are dynamic arrays right why i did this because total number of books would be stored in total number of shelves so let's just say there are five shelves so on each shelf there are multiple books which could be stored right so i am just taking a count of total number of books i have stored in each shelf because this is what it it will be printed in the third statement then total number of pages also Again, the size of array would be same as total number of shelves because on each book, I'll keep a count of total number of pages, which I want to store on that particular shelf. Now coming up to the point for int i equals to zero total number of shelves i plus plus total number of books. So that both of the array which I have created, let's just say this is the array of total number of books. So on each array, I am just initializing it with zero. I am initializing it with zero so that later on when there is a increase in count of books or number of pages i can increase it one by one so initially i have just initiated it with zero now i am creating a while loop on total number of queries so let's just say there are five test cases you want to run so total number of queries would be this five and one by one it will keep on decreasing itself right so i'll run this loop five times for this test case now one by one what what i'm doing is i am checking type of query right so if the type of query is one what we need to do is we need to increment total number of books plus x right what i need to do is i need to increment total number of books plus x and also total number of pages also right so total number of pages plus x and there would be 
increment in total number of books plus one also right so let's just say uh, i'll take this example 1015 right 1015 so the type is one so this will come inside this if statement index is zero so on index zero i need to add a book of 15 pages right so this will be the number of pages which would be incremented and the count of book would be incremented by obviously one because on the first index i have added one book right second time the loop will run again i'll check one two or three right so if the total uh, type of query is one i'll go inside if if it is of type two i'll go inside else if so in else if what i'm doing is i'm just printing total number of pages plus y that's it right and if there is nothing we'll go inside third part which will be else part and in inside this part we'll just give an output of total number of books plus x right <laughs> and that is how we'll be able to get the output of complete thing so i'll just run the code finally for you and see if it works for you guys all right so i can i am getting the right output and i'll submit this code also so that we can see all of the test cases are running so it is optimized solution also and and it gives the right answer also so thank you so much guys for watching this video if you are liking the series of hacker and solution please do like subscribe and share this channel thank you bye